Do you struggle with your weight? I know I once did. Having the scales telling me that I weighed 100 kilos was probably one of my lowest points in my life. But as you know, I turned that around and lost 35 kilos in 20 months and have kept it off now for many, many years. And I want that for you. If you struggle with your weight for way too long and you're really fed up, I want to give you some tips. Now, one of the most important things that I want to stress to you right now is that you are the boss. You're in charge of your destiny and only you can create the healthy you. I don't want you to lose your weight for anybody else but you. And when you think about losing weight, it can be that you're, okay, well, what am I going to do? I'm going to go on a diet, I'll have shakes, I'll just go to the gym 6,000 times a day. I mean, look, they're all really unrealistic. And as you know, I hate diets. What I want you to do is to really be healthy. And the way to do that is to think and act like one. And I talk about this a lot in my cookbooks. The main issue though, that I think stops people from losing weight and being the fabulous healthy person they want to be is in here. Yeah, what's going on in your thought process? You know, oh, can I do this? I'm tired, I'm hungry, it's too hard. Oh, maybe I was just destined to be fat. No, get out of your head. This is what's causing the problems. Get into your heart and think about what is it you really ultimately want. And that's exactly what I did. The day that I saw that fat photo of me in that swimsuit changed my life because I was over it. I said, you know what, have had enough of being fat. If you have, then here's some tips. Start thinking about what you're eating. What type of food are you having? Is it healthy or is it just treat food? Food that is pleasurable opposed to nutritional. So you want to really think about good, healthy, sound food. Go about 40% raw in your day and you're doing really well. And also think about being 90% fabulous. You know, 10% that gives you maybe on a Saturday night if you go out and you want to have a little bit of indulgence. You don't have to be 100% focused and committed every second. 90% is fabulous. Then the other thing you need to look at is how much are you eating? Like look at your portion sizes because if you're overweight I can guarantee you're eating too much. And one of those problems is that you may be eating in the dark. And what I mean by that is that you don't eat much during the day, like you're like a little sparrow, like a carrot and apple or a yogurt. And then once the, it gets dark and you're just sitting there after work, you know, you're relaxing and suddenly the binges start and you eat so much food. Probably most of the food is eaten in the dark. And this is something that happens to a lot of people that are overweight. I know I used to do it and that's why I'm sharing that with you. And that was one of the things that I had to really work on when I was being a healthy person was to look at my night eating. And I've conquered that now and it, it took a little while but it did happen. And that's the tip here as well. If you don't change, nothing's going to change. The other thing is you've got to be more active. Think about moving that body. Sitting on the couch is not going to get you slim, trim and fabulous. Look, you know what, I, I've noticed with most people that lose their weight, they seem to maintain better when they're active. So make sure that's part of your program as well. And the motivation. You know, I really was thinking about what I wanted to get out of this, not what I can't do. So I was thinking about those fabulous pair of jeans that I was going to zip up and look pretty hot in. I was thinking about the energy of I'd have in my body, being able to get out of the chair easily, that I would feel better and most importantly that I'd feel proud of myself. I want that for you. So this is what you've got to do. Think about what you're eating. Look at your portion sizes. Be totally motivated and committed to it. Make the changes that you need, but make sure they're sustainable. That this is not just a quick fix, that this is who you are going to be for the rest of your life. Look, you know what? If I can do it, so can you.